I'm your instructor for today, and my name is Miss Chisel. Okay, I'm so excited to meet everyone. I can't wait to see you all. But for now, I want us to learn the parts of the abacus. Who is ready for that? Okay, so the first part of the abacus is this big black frame that we see here. This is the body of the abacus, and it's called the frame. Can we spell that together? F R A M E. It's called the frame. Okay? That's the big body of the abacus. It is called the frame. Let's spell it one more time. We have F R A M E. Frame. That's the first part of the abacus. Okay? So the second part of the abacus I want us to learn is we have for the frame, we have the upper frame, we have the side frame, and we have the lower frame. But for today, we're just, 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 just going to stick with the frame. Okay? Now, the next part is the Upper bead. You see this orange shiny things here? They are called the beads. But this ones that are up are called the upper beads. Okay? So number two, we have the upper beads. U P P E R B E A D S. We have the Upper beads. Can we say that one more time? Upper beads. Okay? Now, let's go back to the other cuts. You see these plenty beads we have here? These shiny beads. Can you touch the other cuts? Can you touch the beads? Okay. These ones here are called the lower beads. Now, because these ones are up here, they are called upper beads. They are called the lower beads. So we have upper beads and lower beads. Upper beads and lower beads. So let's write that. So number three, we have lower beads. L O W B R. My funny E. <laughs> B E A D and S. So we have lower beads. Can we say that together? Lower B. Okay. Next one I want to show you is that brown stick you have holding your beat together. My abacus is too big, so I don't have that brown beat. But yours do, okay? So I want you to touch that brown stick holding your beat together. And do we know what it's called? It's called the rod. Okay, so number four, we have the rod. So we have R O D, rod. Can we say that together? R O D, we have the rod. Okay, and the last part of the abacus I want us to learn is this white shiny thing here. Okay. Can I see you do that on your abacus? Can we do this? Good. You see this line? It is called the bead. Okay, we use it when we want to separate our upper bead and our lower bead. So it is called the bead. B E A N. Bead. My funny E. Okay. Can we say that together? B E A M. We have the B. So now I want to teach us a very wonderful song. Who wants to learn my song? This will help us memorize the parts of the abacus easily. Are we ready? I want you to drop anything you're holding and stand up. Okay? Are we standing? Okay, now we have the upper frame and the lower frame. And we have the rod, and we have the beam. Can we do that? One, two, go. Okay, we 
have the phrase and we have the upper beat and the lower beat and the rod and the beat. And let's do that one more time. I want you to be so full of energy. Are we ready? Are we ready? Okay, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Okay, attention. Okay. Let's go. One, two, go. We have the frame. Can I see your hand do this? Frame. Then we have the upper beat. Turn your hand, turn your hand, okay? And we have the lower beat. And we have the rod and the beam. Give yourself a wild clap. Wow.